What up, Adventure Family? Angie here from Get Out There Magazine, and today we're talking all about Hoka. We are comparing the Bondi 8 and the Clifton 8. Both great running shoes, but when we compare them, which will come out on top? Let's test them out. Now Hoka is known in the running world for its bulky shoes and it's really been gaining in popularity both for pro runners and first milers and it's becoming more and more popular as a lifestyle shoe and I know for a fact that Hoka is now Adam Sandler's go-to brand when it comes to shoes to wear on the daily. So we know how they look but how do they feel when they're on? This is the Bondi 8, or Bondi 8, which is often called in the running world. It's the Hoka of all Hoka shoes, with the iconic Hoka look. The most billowy, with the max amount of cushion you will find. It is a bulky shoe, and it's certainly a lot of shoe, but only 250 grams in weight. Though I do find with the addition of these horizontal lines, it does have a sleeker look than in previous versions. When it comes to stability, it's neutral, so it's not gonna push you one way or the other and it has a lot of cushion. Plush when it comes to cushion, max cushion, with a four millimeter heel to toe drop. I will say that I do find more support in the Bondi 8. Um, and I think that has to do with having a wider base. A wider base, almost like a thicker heel um, that fans out more. So more supported, Now the Clifton is Hoka's most popular shoe and the Clifton 8 is the newest version of the award-winning Clifton franchise. It's a neutral shoe with mid cushion and basically their everyday trainer. And though it may not look like it, it is very light at just over 200 grams. Now, though it's advertised as mid cushion, there's still a lot of cushion. Personally, I find it more comfortable than the Bondi, and that's because it's a softer cushion. It's with the Clifton 8 that you really get that walking on a cloud feeling. They made this shoe to be both soft and light, and I think they've done a really good job with that. I'm also a really big fan of the extended Achilles pull here, which makes it extra easy to put on. Now, when it comes to fit, it can be a bit tricky, as we know everyone has different feet and fit styles. For me personally, I have a narrow foot, and so when I first put these on, they did feel quite spacious. But as you get running, your foot swells, and you have space and room for it to swell, and your toes aren't gonna jam up against the edge. So it's strategic. Someone that stands for long hours, say you're a teacher or a nurse, or you work on set for long hours, you're gonna wanna check out the Bondi 8, because you really have that stability matched with max cushion. So standing, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. The Bondi 8 and the Clifton 8, my personal favorite would be the Clifton 8. I find it to be a really nice, well-rounded shoe that's good to run in, but also wear on the daily that's quite comfortable. For more info on these shoes, check out Hoka's website, but I really encourage you to go to a store and try them on. Till next time, don't forget to get out there. See you guys.